My name is Salpia Skidian Bederut. I'm from Nicosia, a grandchild of Armenian immigrants who came to Cyprus from different parts of Anatolia and Cilicia. I'm the director of the Office of the Religious Track of the Cyprus Peace Process and one of the architects of the Cyprus Religious Leaders Dialogue for Peace, Human Rights and Reconciliation. I grew up, sadly, with stories of deportation, dispossession, and death. But at the same time, I was raised by three very strong women, my mother, her mother, and her grandmother, who were always teaching us love and forgiveness. I searched for other sources that also had the same teachings, religious and secular, like the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And it was always, it was not a choice, the kind of work I would end in. I would always, I always wanted to make sure that the world was safe for everybody and that people did not have to experience the stories that I was told, as well as what I experienced as a child in Cyprus. Separate women, like women all over the world, encounter many biases in the workforce, discrimination, gender pay gap, but also a patriarchal conservative society that affect everything else. But in addition, separate women have an additional uh, burden and that of a divided country, a country that the conflict is not resolved. Our voices are not heard as much. Uh, women's voices, women are not at the table of the peace talks, of, they're not leading the peace process as such. So there's an additional bias in that sense than what we face in addition to the rest of uh, women around the world. First of all, as women, we have to believe in ourselves. But to be able to break the biases that they, we have to, towards each other, women who are more wealthy towards women who are less fortunate, asylum seekers, migrants, those who are trafficked, those who have less, those who don't look like us, or those who are across the dividing line. So in order for us not to experience the biases, but first of all, we should also, as women, not have bias against each other. So the unity is very important. No matter what, we should stand united to be able to address those biases, but also at the same time overcome them.